This tutorial will demonstrate how to search Ovid Medline for randomized controlled trials. To start, click on the Ovid link on the library's homepage, library.tulsa.ou.edu. Click the Ovid Medline link. At this point, you may be prompted to log in using your OUHSC credentials. For our randomized controlled trial search, we will use the following clinical question. For a 68-year-old obese patient, is diet or exercise more effective for reducing weight? Before we begin to search, we first need to adjust our question to fit the PICO format. The PICO model helps define questions to address specific clinical issues and aids in finding relevant evidence in the literature. The P stands for the patient, population, or problem, the I for intervention, C for comparison, and O for outcome. Using the PICO format, we'll choose the following subject terms to structure our search. Population, aged obese patients, intervention, diet, comparison, exercise, and outcome, weight loss. These PICO terms will help us identify appropriate mesh terms to build our search. So we'll now search for the mesh terms that match each of our PICO elements. Make sure the map term to subject heading box is checked. Then enter the word obesity into the search box and hit enter or click the search button. This first page we are taken to is a list of possible mesh terms that have been mapped to our search term. When you run a search using subject headings, you retrieve results that have been tagged with your chosen subject. Each subject heading has a scope note indicated with the blue eye icon. The scope note includes a definition of the subject heading along with possible uses for the term. You may choose more than one subject heading if you like, but in this case, Let's leave the single check mark next to obesity. We also want to explode our term in order to pick up any subject headings that fall under it. Click the explode box next to obesity, then click continue. On this page, you will see a number of subheadings that apply to the obesity subject heading. Since we're just beginning the search and want to keep our options broad, let's click the continue button to complete the search. This effectively includes all the subheadings. We now have a batch of over 190,000 results. We'll leave those alone for now and continue, for searching, continue by searching for another search term from our clinical question. This time we'll search for our intervention, diet. Enter diet in the search box and press the enter key. We'll proceed as we did for the obesity search checking the explode box, and including all subheadings. We now have a new set of results. To keep things simple, we'll skip the comparison part of our PICO. So we'll now search for our outcome, weight loss. Again, we'll search as we did before, checking the explode box, and including all subheadings. We now have three separate sets of search results. Our next step is to combine these searches so that we can retrieve results that pertain to all of our subject terms. Click the checkboxes next to each search and select and next to combine with. These three searches are now combined leaving us with over 5,000 search results. Each result in this set contains articles that have the subheading for obesity, diet, and weight loss. However, we still need to limit our articles to people more like our 68-year-old patient. There is more than one way to do this. We'll start by selecting the Additional Limits button underneath the search bar. Near the top, we see our search history. The last search we did has the radio button selected. We'll scroll down 
to find the age group's limiters. Scroll in the age group windows until you find the all aged 65 and up category and select it. Then click limit a search. You should now see a result set of about 900 citations. We are now at the point where we can limit our set to randomized controlled trials. Click the additional limits button. Now look for the publication types limiters. There are many publication types available listed in alphabetical order. Scroll down through the list until you see randomized controlled trial and select it. Then click limit a search. We now have a batch of randomized controlled trials about our topic. To learn how to search for other study types, check out the library's other evidence-based practice tutorials. Happy searching!